What's good, my beauty baby? It's your girl, Beauty Bat, with another video, part two of the video I talked about with Jordan and his baby mama, Sierra Nicole, y'all. Sierra Nicole, let me get her name right. Not big. He, she is his baby mama, but right now they got some things going on that I hope they work out and, you know, for the better of the baby and themselves. We all think, I, I not we all, I personally think that it's good when both of the parents are on one accord. It's healthier for both parties and the children or baby or whatever the situation might be. Okay, y'all, we're going to get into this. Sierra did post. She did do her and video as well, explaining her side. I keep telling y'all, it's two sides to every store before you go judge the important thing is at people coming, com commenting under Jordan's post about this girl, everything. Like, it's crazy how a lot of these fans or subscribers or whatever you call yourselves to them, bash her so bad. Please start listening to both sides and put it together. Make it make sense to everything on both parts. Do not just listen to one person. But yeah, let's get into this video, y'all. I'm not going to hold y'all this long because her video is actually really long and I want y'all to hear everything and her frustration and how she felt as well as I did with Jordan. So let's get into this video. I just want to first go over the shit that I felt like y'all were talking about or what he said in the video because yeah this shit getting insane this shit getting out of hand and it's really getting weird it's getting weird it's it's getting very 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 weird um for starters i just want to say that everybody knows where my phone because i have receipts as well so and one thing about me i'm not just going to get on the internet and i'm not just going to keep harping and crying about my problems and not do anything about them or looking for y'all to do something or solve them because y'all can't do shit for me so that's why I don't come to y'all about my problems and I don't tell y'all what the I could be telling y'all. But hey, that's just me. Um, so like I was saying, we're just gonna start out start off with my notes. First thing I said, the first thing is him um him taking care of me, him doing things for me, he giving me money, him whatever. We're gonna first off say don't act like you just be giving me money, Jordan. You don't be giving me money. And, and even if you were, don't act like you're the only one who gives me money. You're the same person who act like I'm all this money that I'm draining from you. You're the same person that run out of that at the end of the 30 days. And you come asking me if I have money. And if I don't have it, ask my mom if she have it to give it to you. That's you. You're the same person who's done that and who have. I can break. Let me, let me, because I actually got my screenshots. We're just going to say that. You got 10 I can borrow. Kinsley's dad, you have 10 I can borrow. I'll send it back tomorrow. Yeah, cash app, I said that, yeah. Cash app, yeah, thank you, I got you tomorrow. He's not the only person that has ever done anything for anybody, so let's just stop that right there. Because if I'm so broke, how was I able to, cash app, yeah, okay. How was I able to do any of that, first of all? That's just, that's just starters, that's starters, that's starters. I'm not draining shit. You have nothing for me to drain. You have nothing for me to drain. All that you got this money and I just want this from you. No, I don't want anything from you. The only thing I want you to do is be a dad, my nigga. I never took Kinsley from you. That is in right and In fact, I told you to come pick Kinsley up. Let's talk about that. Me and you were getting into it and I told you how I am emotionally. I am physically. I am mentally. I am financially unstable to take care of your daughter. And I told you to come pick her up and come get her because she's better off with you and your big house. Your um are you stupid? That's why you don't see me pick up my camera. That may be why I don't have as much money as Jordan. Jordan got all the time in the world because he ain't up, he ain't out here being a father. And that's by choice. Every time I come up with a schedule, every time I try to come up with a schedule, I bring up coming up with a schedule. He gets an attitude and start popping his gums. Who y'all think want to deal with that? I don't want to deal with that. I don't want to deal with that. I don't want to deal with somebody who makes me seem like I'm the problem just because I'm asking to come up with a schedule so that I can work and not just be a parent. You don't want me to work. You want me to sit. I'm, I, it's, I'm not sitting on my ass because I'm, I want to, bitch. I'm sitting on my ass because you're forcing me to. You're not giving me the opportunity to do anything because all I am is a mother. So don't sit here and say, yeah, I know she have her more than me. You you fucking right, I have her more than you. So the least you could fucking do is send more than $200 a month. 
or come get your kid so I can do what I gotta do because you already know my potential. Stop playing with me. You know what? You know what, what type of money I can make and what I can really do for myself. Stop playing with me. I don't give a fuck about picking up my camera. I don't give a fuck about putting Kinsley on no vlog. I don't give a fuck to show none of y'all, you or none of y'all, uh, what I have going on and what I do for my child because I really do this shit. I really do this shit on and off camera. Y'all don't see me every time I'm picking up Kinsley, taking her to go get something to eat or taking her to go get some shoes and shit. Why do I have to do all that on camera? I do it off camera. I do it off camera. And it's weird for you to say, I just want the I just wanted the best or want the best for her. Da da da. You don't want the best for shit, bitch, because every opportunity you get, you hop online knowing what type of traffic you can fucking create. And you hop online and you get and he gives y'all the, the opportunity to bash me. Who does that? What real man sit here and does that? Who does that? Who does that? Next, I'm bitter. I'm bitter. Bitter is for the bitches who don't get niggas. Okay? Let's start there. I get niggas. Bitter could never be compared c c attached to Sierra. Ever. Ever. If I was bitter, and what y'all don't know is I didn't already been in the house with Naya. Yeah, I'm name dropping because I don't give a fuck. I done already been in the house with this girl. I ain't say shit to her. I ain't look at her. I ain't, I ain't even breathe her air. You wanna know why? Because I don't give a fuck. I'm not bitter. Bitter would have been me going in Kaya's room, shutting that door and whooping ass. Hello. That's bitter. I'm not bitter. I didn't say nothing to her because she hasn't done any. Then she didn't do anything to me. I didn't. That. What's bitter about that? That's what y'all don't know. I was already around this girl in the same house as this girl while she was doing Kaya hair, and I minded my business, and she minded hers. What's bitter? I really do this shit. I think what motherfuckers is really mad at is that I'm a real ass P. I keep shit P. Stop playing with me. Bitter. You can't never. You can never name a time that I ever brung up no bitch to tell because I wanted you, my nigga. Never ever bring up some screenshots. I want to see some screenshots of that. I want to see that. I want to see that in black and white, please. Oh wait, no, no, no. I messages blue and black. I want to see that shit, please. Please show me where I was bitter and I just told you, ooh, you and your new relationship and I hate you. You're never gonna see Kinsley and I want and I wanna be with you and I, no, I've never ever 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 he can never name a time when I did that because it ain't me. What you talking about? He wants me to do that. I'm not doing that, never will. I have to die, be born again, die, be born again, and die and be born again for me to ever, ever, ever say anything about that. I'm not mad that he doing he, that he doing shit with nobody. I done seen Jordan fuck with badder bitches, badass bitches. If I had a problem or if I was bitter, I would have addressed them. She not the first or the last that he gonna put on his channel or that he has put on his channel. I would address everyone before her. This been going on for years. Jordan did videos with girls when we was the our first year on YouTube back back then. I ain't never confronted Nan Ho about nothing because I ain't never pressed about shit. You can have him. I gave him to you. Go ahead. Sweep him off his motherfucking feet and please keep him off of my back. I am begging you to do that. Bitter? And then y'all just walking around here like I just got an attitude for no motherfucking reason. Nah, motherfuckers is fucking with me. Why is you deleting Q&As? Jordan deleted a Q&A that was on his channel. I don't know if y'all caught it or whatever. And in the Q&A, he just bashing me, bashing me, bashing me like he always does. Old girl did a Q&A on her motherfucking channel and in her thumbnail, something about his ex. But all of a sudden, I look back up, no, 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 no. So I seen the shit, I text Jordan, and I said, so you want to bring shit to the internet? I'm about to air your ass out. I text him that. An hour later, he deleted his video, and an hour later, she changed her thumbnail. Yes, yeah, stop playing with me, please. This is not the ass whooping you guys want to walk into. I mind my business. I do what I got to do for my kid. You steady bringing me up. You steady mentioning what we got going on in the videos. You steady talking and talking and talking and talking and talking like you need to be validated from. Like he needs to be validated from y'all. Y'all opinions don't move me at all. At all. I don't I don't have to come over here and, and get y'all on my side. I don't have to do that. I know who I am. I know what I do and how I do it. Like stop playing with me. Y'all have really lost y'all minds. Y'all have really lost y'all minds. It ain't never been a bitter bone in my body. I've always been fucking happy. Happy, do please, please get the get them the fuck away from me. Are you crazy? What else? 
if I'm all these things, I'm so bitter, I'm not letting you do this, I'm not letting you do that, why don't you just get full custody of your child? Get full custody of your child. You got the money on to do it. Get full custody of your child if it's that bad the way you hopping on the internet claiming that it's that bad. Get your kid. You, but you're not. You're not. And you know you're not. You know you're not. You don't want to be a full-time father. You don't want to miss out on ripping and running the streets and popping bottles with the FOE. You don't want to miss out on that. You don't want to miss out on that, so you're not going to take me to court. You're not going to try to get full custody. You're not going to try to work anything out. You don't want to be a father, my nigga. If it was that bad, get her. I done gave you countless and countless and countless of opportunities to come get your motherfucking kid when I wasn't mentally there, when I wasn't financially there, physically there. I had COVID. My nigga, I just had COVID, and you still didn't try to come get your motherfucking kid that you owe love so much. You still didn't come get her. Not even to make sure she don't even get sick from, from me. Not even to make sure your toddler baby don't get COVID from me. You still didn't come get her. In fact, on my off day when you did, when you did have her, because when you had her, we didn't know that I had COVID yet. We found out the next day. So when you did have her, matter of fact, you had asked me to come and stay the night. And I told you I was sick. I just didn't know that I had COVID. I didn't get that test yet, but I was sick as fuck. And I said, I'm sick as fuck, but I'll come over there to put my child to sleep. I will come over there to put my child to sleep, but I want you to bring me back home. I want to come back home. Uber me back home. Or or you can take me back home, but I want to come back home. You insisted that I stay tonight. You insisted that I stay tonight. You insisted that I stay tonight. Following to the next day, you walk in your room. I'm sitting on your bed or laying down. Mind you, I'm sick. You, why you in here? Why you in here sick? You shouldn't be over here if you sick. If you really that sick, you'll be in bed. What the fuck, nigga? You just asked me to come over here last night to put my child to sleep. So it wasn't a problem then when I was helping you. But all of a sudden, it's a motherfucking me problem now. Cut the bullshit for real. Did I treat you like that when you were sick? You can look back on my vlog in December. Was helping that nigga still while taking care of my motherfucking kid. Jordan is inconsiderate as fuck. You did not one time say, let me get Kinsley. Let me get my child. She's sick. I'm going to give you a day to regroup. Get yourself together. In fact, when you got sick, it was your time to keep Kinsley. And I rescheduled my motherfucking week, bitch, to keep Kinsley because you were sick. We're not the same. We're not the same. So cut the small talk. Cut the small talk. You done got me. You got me fucked up. Cut the small talk. Talking about a motherfucking image. The only image you care about is yours. You don't give a fuck about getting on the internet and bashing other motherfuckers, especially your baby mama. But yet, you want to cry wolf and cry when somebody say something about you in a video. Shut up. Walking around here asking people to delete videos that's about you. Shut up. Shut up. Ain't nobody deleting shit. You don't delete shit when you're talking about other folk. Oh, yeah. You sat around and told everybody in the house not to do videos with me like a fucking weirdo. Like, who tries to stop their, their baby mom's mother's like, uh, like way of making an income for their fucking child when they're mad at them? You're a weirdo. You're weird. You're weird for that. You're weird for that. I'm such a motherfucking P. I told Kiara she could still do videos with you. Make your money, honey. Don't worry about what me and Jordan got going on. Do you. Do, do whatever you got to do. Do whatever you got to do. I ain't never once tried to cut you off for nothing, bitch. Nothing. You're weird. Stop acting like you just do, 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 do for me. Because it's not that, Jordan. It's not that. You're the same nigga that hold over $20,000 off my head, but yet you're the same one that's running out of it at the end of the 30 days. Stop playing with me and be so fucking for real. I don't have to drain you for shit. My nigga, for my birthday, I went on that fucking Virgin Islands trip with your motherfucking ass, and you only had $500 in your motherfucking pocket. I don't know how the fuck you thought you were going to do $500 in the motherfucking Virgin Islands in your motherfucking pocket. And had me calling my mama asking my mama for $100 or $200 so that we can motherfucking eat. Bitch, let's be real. Why are you talking about what I do with my mama or what she do for me and how I'm living? Shut the fuck up. That's one thing you ain't going to do is you, you're you going to keep my mama's mouth, the name out, out your fucking mouth. And that's period for fucking point blank. I don't talk about your mom. I don't talk about none of the shit y'all got going on. Nothing. And but, but but let's since we're on it though, and you did bring it up, let's fucking talk about it, bitch. Since I'm so motherfucking bitter, I have messages in my phone. Let's go to that screenshot of me literally telling you, hey, your mom don't have nowhere to stay. You should really give her the apartment. I feel bad. Let, let's let's just read it. Let's just read it. Let's just read it because you got me fucked up. 
Hey, your mom might not have anywhere to sleep tonight, and she's trying to watch Kinsley and spend time with her. I told her I would ask you if you can give them your apartment key, and I'll buy them an air mattress and give them money for food. Your mom can't be out here like that, and I'm willing to help with that. I don't care. I don't like this suitcase-to-suitcase -suitcase BS, and I don't want to take away from her being trying to be a grandma. And it's not about me wanting someone to watch Kinsley, because my mom can watch her, but I see that your mom is trying. You feel me? If I was so bitter, I wouldn't give a fuck about little shit like this. Like, stop playing with me my nigga i'm really genuine as fuck and i'd have gave you too many chances like chance after chance after chance after chance after chance for you to prove yourself that you are responsible enough to watch my non-verbal autistic daughter how many chances do i have to give you how many chances do i have to give you every time we mad at each other you want to harp on oh my god she's keeping me away from my child i never once fucking said i'm keeping kids away from you or you can't see Kinsley anymore. Tell him the sense. Show y'all the screenshots. Show the screenshots of me literally typing or a voice in the video or something of me saying you cannot see Kinsley anymore. Bitch, I block you because you be talking out the side of your motherfucking neck disrespecting y'all up in my motherfucking phone and I pay that phone bill. You will not be hitting my phone. I will not be receiving no messages from your disrespectful ass on the phone bill that I pay for. You're blocked. Learn how to talk to somebody like you got some common sense big one bedroom apartment that you just so much pay for she's better off with you so i told you to come get her guess what you did you ignored that and you continued to argue with me and you did not come pick up your child you don't give a f for real anybody who give a f for real would have came and picked their child up in a heartbeat like okay my bm is just mentally unstable right now physically financially whatever she say i'm gonna take her serious on that and i'm gonna come get my baby and give her a break or let her figure out what she got to figure out simple as that since you know that I have her more than you, why you couldn't do that? That screenshot is going to be in this video too. Let's see. Um, and money. We're just going to stay on the topic of money. Jordan, you have nothing that I want. You have nothing that I want. The child support money is the money that I want that you be popping bottles with. That you be spending on drugs and weed and alcohol and perks and mollies and, and, and the clubs and, and, and all of that. That's the money that I want because I'm not understanding why kids are not getting none of that. Uh, the only thing you do is buy her diapers or milk when I ask you to. Not clothes, not shoes, not on a daily, not the way you buy your shit. Not the way you buy your shit. One thing about me, one thing I know, and two things for sure, if I was to be making that type of money, my daughter gonna be fresher than me off real. No question about it, if I love her so much. Next, you keep bringing up my mom and the fact that I stay with my mom. It's very funny and, and and crazy how that was a that's a problem for you now, but it wasn't a problem for you our entire relationship. All them videos y'all seen on Sierra Jordan channel, we were staying with my mom. My mom was in the other room. It was never a problem for you then, but it's a problem for you now. And oh, I'm sorry. And if it's such a fucking problem, why she ain't with you? Why she's not living with you? Why is she not with you? Why she why come get come get your girl? If it's such a problem to you, since that's the only thing that you can bring up that that I, I, I I'm, I'm no car, I'm living with my mom, come get Kinsley so Kinsley don't have to deal with that then. I've told you that once before. The f You are the type of person that don't consider your child when you do anything in fucking life. And when I say anything in life, I literally mean anything in life. You sat here and got that little ass motherfucking car after you asked me about my opinion on if it was okay to get that car or if I should get that car because I have a fucking infant in a back seat. And you still sat there and got that motherfucking car and now you complain about how she's so tall or how her car seat's so big and you get frustrated of having it in the back seat. That's you. You the same motherfucker where I walked in on your in your room when my daughter was in your room and she was holding your gun. Your gun. Miss, I love my daughter so much, you unresponsible fuck. You're irresponsible. Your gun. And I snatched it out of her fucking hand and got on your ass and you know that. Oh, and that ain't the first. That ain't the first. Kylie walked in and Kinsley had her had her gun pointing to her face. And Kylie had to snatch her gun. I mean, snatch your gun out of her hand. And then you want to walk around talking about, oh, I'm so glad I don't keep one in the head, one in the head. I'm so glad I don't keep one in the head. That's not the fucking point, my nigga. You have one life to live. You you will not be the reason why my baby get hers taken because you are an irresponsible fuck. I'm not okay with it, and I will never be okay with it. Y'all have lost y'all rabbit ass motherfucking me mind. I'll never be okay with that shit. So y'all can call me whatever y'all want to call me. I could be the bitterest, the sourest, the sweetest. I don't, the rawest. I don't give a motherfucking fuck. 
I'll never settle for that shit. And I'm not going to keep telling nobody over and over and over and over and over and over and over again to be responsible when my child is in your hands. And I'm not going to be tossing and turning in my motherfucking sleep, hoping and praying to God that you are being responsible with my child in your hands. It's either you going to do it or you ain't. You going to choose or I'm going to choose for you. I'm not understanding why y'all are not understanding that. Let's see. What else? What else? All of the shit that he do for me. Oh, no, 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 no. We, we're back on Kinsley. Because first of all, everybody keeps talking about why I'm always at FOE house. Why I'm still doing videos with people at FOE. That motherfucking nigga asks me to come over there. He asks me to come over there. On my off days, when he's supposed to have Kinsley, he asks me to come over there to put her to sleep. He can't even put her to sleep. Even when I think I'm having a break, it's not even a break for real. I take care of my child day in and motherfucking me night while this nigga rip and run the motherfucking streets. Day in and day out. And the only time he can really just spend time with her is when he picking up that funky ass camera. We're not doing that. The reason why y'all don't see me work is because I'm too busy being a motherfucking mother 24 motherfucking 7 to a special needs child. Learn how to talk like you have some common fucking sense. Stop playing with me. What else? What else? Talking about... Uh, it, it's so crazy because you was literally bringing up this shit from when we were younger, when we was in high school. Like, if we're going to talk about it, talk about... Talking about how um, our my worth thicket, I never learned anything from us being broke together. I never learned anything from da 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 Jordan, you never taught me shit, bitch. I taught you everything you know today, till this day. You didn't teach me anything, anything. You knew you was the nigga that I could not call on for nothing. To this day, you don't even know how to change a tire. I don't, what, 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 what? You ain't teach me nothing. You don't know anything. Because your worth ethic is, ethic is still pretty low if you still got to mention me for a video. Your worth ethic real fucking low if you still got to talk about me for a video. You ain't doing shit, nigga. There ain't nobody out here doing. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. That's all I can say. Because you sound stupid. You sound stupid. Talking about all this motherfucking money. You lying on YouTube videos. Talking about how you spent $30,000 on a motherfucking chain. Bitch, that shit was less than one k Let's be fucking for real. You told me that. Let's stop the pump fake. We're dealing with somebody who's a fucking narcissist and who wake up every other day. Don't know who the fuck he want to be. Don't know who the fuck he is. The nigga needs mental therapy help. And y'all in here on his motherfucking side, riding his motherfucking cocktail, talking about how I'm motherfucking bitter. It ain't a bitter bone in my body. I want better for my motherfucking child, and I'm not setting for less, and I'm not going to let no nigga half ass my kid. That's the difference between me and you hoes. Stop playing with me. Stop playing with me. I stand on business when it comes to Kinsley, and everybody know that, and everybody can go. I don't care who you are to me. I don't care who you are to Kinsley. Everybody can go. Stop playing with me. Stop playing with me. And then it's another thing. You sitting here talking about how we agreed that we don't want anyone around our motherfucking kid. But yet went and made a YouTube video and talking about how um, Kinsley and Naya already met. You sound crazy as fuck. Because how they already met. But we just, you just said that we agreed that we don't do that. So you, you, you fuck over my boundaries. You don't give a fuck when I, when I say that I don't want this and this and that. You don't give a fuck. Or when I tell you about your motherfucking self, all of a sudden it's a problem and I'm so motherfucking bitter and I'm the motherfucking problem. No, stop fucking playing with me, bitch. You knew what it was, bitch. We had already agreed that we weren't going to do that and you back door and you do that. You're not making any sense. You contradicting yourself. You're not making any sense. You're not making no sense. Okay, back to what I was talking about because my SD card was full, so I had to go back and delete some stuff. But, anyways, back to what I was saying. Stop acting like you just out here handling business with your money and you out here really just doing shit. Like, you the same nigga that's been making over 15, 20K a month and shit, and you have not a penny to show for. You don't have a penny put up for your motherfucking child. You don't have her, your child don't even have her own fucking room in either of your fucking cribs, my nigga. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Nothing you do is for Kinsley. It's all for an image or us to fit in with FOE. What you really mad at is you mad that you're a father and you can't rip and run with FOE. And I'm not allowing you to do that with my kid. That's what you're really upset about. The fuck? Fuck putting you on child support, my nigga. I'm sorry. No more popping bottles in the club. Money's mine. That's what you're mad about. 
I'm sorry. Out here buying your friends a mirror shoes, a mirror jeans, clothes, whatever the fuck it is. Your dad, your your daughter don't even have a Gucci t-shirt. And it's not even about that, but it's just like, have your daughter as fresh as you. Have your daughter as fresh as you. The only thing you do is diapers and milk and you done did a pair of shoes. So maybe two, three. That's it. Anybody can do that. Her shoes ain't nothing but 50 fucking dollars. I done gave her plenty of shoes. Stop, stop, stop with the bullshit in the cap for real. Because it's, it's, it's getting tiring. And, I, and I'm, I'm, I hate the fact that I even have to come on here and do all this. I am draining. Y'all should be too. Y'all should fucking be too. Y'all over here praise the nigga that every chance he gets, he hop on the fucking internet. And he bashes me. That shy homie though. He's the best father in the motherfucking world. No. This the same nigga that's down the street. Can't come get his motherfucking not talking about something. I got him blocked so he can't get in contact with me. Well, bitch, if you know I live with my mama and you got my mama number and you contact her for anything else, why the fuck you couldn't contact her for your child? Make it make sense. But that's the nigga that y'all, this the nigga that's the best father in the world when he got that fucking camera on. Every time my child is over there by herself, he has to have Kaya in that motherfucking room helping him. Putting her to sleep every time they go out on outings. Go look at his vlogs. Kaya is there all the time because he don't know what the fuck to do with my motherfucking kid. He don't know how to handle that shit. He don't know how to handle that shit. Kaya is there all the time, out to eat, park. It don't matter what the fuck it is. Go look at his vlogs. Jordan ain't never did no one-on-one -on -one with Kinsley because he can't do it. He can't do it. And he's not patient enough to learn how to do it either. He the same nigga that when she crying at night and not going to sleep, you catching attitudes, you huffing and puffing. Dog, what the fuck? Hush, Kinsley. Bro, be quiet. You the same nigga doing all that. Doing all that. But you, but you love your baby so much. Don't even know the girl's sleep routine. Let's be real. Let's be real. It's more than me just having her. More than you, my nigga. I do this shit without you, my nigga. The fact that he even sat here and admitted and said that I have her more than him. And that's because he working like we don't got the same motherfucking me job. Y'all sound stupid as fuck. Come get Kinsley and be full time and we gonna see how many videos you get up a day, bitch. We gonna see. And no, 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 don't call Kaya downstairs to watch her either while you gotta do a video. I can't do that. When, when she here with me, I can't do that. Don't call nobody. Let's see how many videos you get up a day. The fuck? Y'all sound crazy. None of y'all could walk a mile in my shoes while y'all all up in my DMs. My, first of all, it's not even y'all. He opened the door for y'all to be in my DMs to tell me to off myself. Off myself? Y'all sound fucking weird. And if I was to off myself today... My daughter don't have nobody to run to. Jordan will not be taking care of my daughter full time. He is not going to get my motherfucking kid. He's going to leave my kid with my fucking mother and try to throw her over some money and make it make everything seem all fucking good. I feel bad for my motherfucking kid because she has nobody to fucking turn to but my motherfucking mama. If, I, if something was to happen to me today, if I was to drop dead two fucking day, he's not going to do what he's supposed to do. Are y'all not seeing that? I am dealing with a gaslighter and a narcissist. I am dealing with, if I'm so bitter, why I ain't trip on the first bitch, the second bitch, third bitch, the fourth bitch? I, I, don't, I don't understand. Why is it this one that you choose to say that I'm bitter about? Let's be fucking for real. Could never be. Could never be. Y'all are weird. He's weird. All of this is weird. And I don't give a fuck about y'all picking my side. Let's start there. I don't want no pity party, my nigga. I don't want no pity party. I don't give a fuck. You pick the side, stay your ass the fuck over there. I know who I am. I walk in all my motherfucking dirt and all my, all the shit that I got going on in my motherfucking life. Can't nobody tell me about me because I know about me. Stop playing with me. Why you getting over here thinking that you exposed to something like I'm supposed to be crying or some shit? The fuck? Thank you for telling me something about myself that I already the fuck knew. What's wrong with y'all? Y'all are weird. And the fact that y'all really think this is okay... Nigga, yes, you guys ch serve child support papers because every time we are into it, you don't do what the fuck you're supposed to do. It's been plenty of times I called you and asked you, hey, I know what we got going on and on, but such and such, but Kinsley needs some milk. And I had the money to do it. I just wanted to see if you was going to do what the fuck you needed to do. The first thing you say is, no, I already told you, if you're going to have me, uh, if you're going to keep her away from me, then I'm not doing for her. I'm not doing for her. And it's you. It's like you want to hear over and over and over and over and over again that I'm not keeping her away from him because I've never said it in the beginning to begin with. 
So why the fuck do you think I finna come back and clarify and say that I never said it? When bitch, I never said it. I don't have to clarify anything because I never said it. You ran with that shit. Y'all are weird. Y'all are weird. Like, this nigga has put me through so much. So much. And y'all over here just kissing his ass cheek. The yellow ass cheeks that he do have. Y'all is on here kissing them hoes. Real bad. Real bad. Nigga done put me through so much from fucking on people that used to be my best friend. Driving my mama car to go cheat on me with strippers while I'm pregnant. Fighting with me while holding my baby in my hands. She hitting the floor, still fighting with me. Using me, gaslighting me, being a narcissist. The only reason why you ever seen me in that motherfucking crib is because he asked me to be there. Why he hopping on the internet like I, stop playing. I've never asked you to do no video. I don't need you to do no video. You know my vlogs hit with just me. I don't need you to do no video. I and mean, y'all stupid for believing in that. Go check on my page and see how many times Jordan in my video on the last six on, la, on a video of mine in the last six months. And then you go look at his motherfucking page and see how many videos I am on his page in the last six months. You tell me who needed who. Who asked who to do what with who? Never asked you to do no motherfucking video with me. What else? What else? What else? What else? What else? And then another thing, y'all want to talk about how we're sleeping together. We're still sleeping together. That's why we're still arguing. That's why we're still at it. My nigga, no, we're not. That's I, I feel like personally that's why we're in the situation that we're in now. Because he's mad that I'm not sleeping with that ass. We're talking about the same nigga who every time I come over there, talk about how thick I'm getting. And make jokes about how thick I am. And try to get behind it and playing around and shit. That nigga, that's the nigga y'all talking about clock that because I'm confused I'm confused I'm confused could never be mad could never be upset I ain't did nothing but be nice to this motherfucker let him slide with all the fucked up shit he doing to me all types of shit like I just don't do what Jordan does to me I, to him I don't do it and he knows that shit the fuck the only thing that he can harp on is I'm taking Kinsley away from him and he knows that I am not taking Kinsley away from him you can come get your motherfucking kid in fact I told you to come get your kid and you still ain't come get your motherfucking kid that's the thing so if I'm such a bad parent and you love your baby so much and you just want her take me to court take me to court if it's really an issue for you because to me you just talking i'm calling your bluff you just talking see me and then and then you want to act like this child support shit just came out the motherfucking me blue and i'm gonna insert screenshots on that too this ain't come out no motherfucking blue i warned you over and over and over and over and over again that i was gonna put you on child support nigga you thought i was playing with that ass nope showed you bitch you mad because i played chess and not checkers you thought i was playing with that ass i told you over and over and over again that i'm not about to stress myself about what you should be doing for your daughter i'm not stressing that but you want to get on this bitch shed tears and shit and talk about how oh I, I i you just feel so fucking betrayed i did this when we were cool shut the fuck up i don't give a fuck i don't care i don't care i do not care I told you I was going to do it. You had several opportunities to fix it. You did it. You get what you get and you don't throw a fit. You could have handled that shit like a man off camera. But said you decide to really just sit up here and set your camera up and bash me the whole video. So, guys, I got child support papers. Who the fuck do that? My well, baby mama sent me child support papers. But, fuck, you are crying to the internet about this shit instead of being a man and handling your own and doing what the fuck is right. Whether it's coming knocking on my motherfucking door to talk to me and settle this shit or paying the motherfucking child support and moving on with your life since you make so much money. I'm confused. I am the easiest baby mama to ever fucking work with. I don't harp on shit. I'm not in Jordan business. I don't ask him what he doing, where he at, who he doing it with. I don't ask him none of that shit. I'm the easiest baby mama ever to deal with. The 
only thing that I ask him is to not use my daughter for the camera or for social media and just I that's that's what I ask him not to do and actually take care of my his his motherfucking kid the fuck I shouldn't have to keep asking for money that should be something you do every 21st every 21st with the note attached saying for Kinsley since it's so for Kinsley the fuck yes and I already told you this. Why he getting on the internet telling him like it's such a fucking surprise. Have that screenshot too. I already told this nigga that if it ever came down and you giving me 200 motherfucking me dollars. My nigga and you say it's for Kinsley. My nigga. But I need these lights on because I'm a full time mother. Because you don't want to come get your motherfucking kids so that I can work and make money. I'm going to have to use that to pay the light bill. You got me fucked up. I'm going to use it to pay the light bill and I'm going to turn around and I'm going to ask you for some more for Kinsley and tell you what I spent it on. I ain't never afraid to do none of that, my nigga. You don't go, you don't get Kinsley for me. You don't give me a break. I have to come up with dates. I have to ask you when you're going to get Kinsley. You don't offer and say, hey, I want to come get my daughter. Hey, is it okay if I come get her for a few hours to give you a break? Hey, hey, she can come stay tonight. Hey, hey, no, it's me texting your phone. When you going to come get Kinsley? So when the next time you going to get Kinsley? So when the next time you going to watch Kinsley? When you going to come get your daughter? I don't want to have to do all that shit. That's lame. That's fucking, that's fucking lame. And that's draining as fuck. You talk about draining. Bitch, I'm drained. I'm fucking drained. I'm the mother and the pappy. I'm drained. And that's not by choice. What part don't you understand it? But y'all so quick to praise him. Y'all so quick to come in my DMs and tell me how pathetic I am. How lazy I am. How whack I am. How poor of a mother I am to off myself. Y'all are mad fucking weird. Whole time y'all telling me to do all this behind a nigga who knew he got on the internet and was lying. But don't feel bad now. Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. Don't feel bad now. No, 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 no. You keep that same energy and you stand on that shit the same way I'm standing on my shit. Like, what the fuck? I feel like I'm in a twilight zone or something. Like, what the fuck is going on? I be minding my everlasting business and people keep come fucking with me making videos i see somebody done did this said this said that like what are you talking about then you have the nerve to say all i do is sit and make wig companies or hair videos it's the same hair videos that you ask me for at the end of the month when your money ran out from your youtube check bitch that and half of the videos had my face in it the fuck you talking about it's the same money you asked for you weren't doing all this complaining when we was together and them, 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 them wig companies was paying the motherfucking bills, ho. You weren't saying it then. You weren't saying that when the wig comes, just paying for them, for them haircuts, paying for that weed, for that weed. You weren't saying it then, but now all of a sudden it's a motherfucking problem and it's just not good enough for you. Nigga, fuck you. How about that? How about that? Got me fucked up. Sometimes all I do is do wig companies, bitch. Yeah, and you, that's the same money. That you ask for. That's the same sorry ass, lazy ass, bum ass money that you ask for at the end of the 30 fucking days for blowing a fucking 15k, 20k fucking check. You fucking bum. You're the bum. You're the bum. I'd be damned if I'd be out here making that money every fucking, every fucking month and I done did that for a year by now and I got a motherfucking kid. And I ain't decide to try to do no therapy or nothing with her. I ain't decide to drip her out like I'm dripped out. I ain't go get a two bedroom so my daughter can have her own motherfucking me room. I ain't go get a car that was suitable for my motherfucking tall ass daughter that got sitting in the back seat. Got her head literally touching the fucking roof. Make it make sense. But this y'all boy. This y'all. This this y'all boy. <laughs> Cause I don't claim the nigga, never claimed him, stop claiming him. And the nigga still got a problem with me and everything that I do. It's not making sense. I just don't know what to say. I just don't know what to say. Like, y'all look dumb, he looks dumb, y'all sound dumb. It was very unfair for y'all to come to my shit and didn't even once ask me my side. Didn't even once say, nah, um, just, let's just wait to see what Sierra gotta say. No, y'all immediately, immediately came and my social media started talking down on a bitch like I did something to you if you want him to be your baby daddy then please find him the fuck I ain't do nothing to nobody the fuck I know why there's a reason as to what I do for what I do I live eat breathe and sleep Kinsley every decision I make I incorporate my motherfucking daughter every decision that I make Jordan got a car. Didn't think about my child. Well, he thought about it. Still, 
ex me, thought about it, ex me, and still disregarded all that. Still did what he wanted to do. He got an apartment. Didn't think about my daughter. She was already fucking born, so it's not like she was in the womb and you just, why you talking about something you can upgrade at any given time? Bitch, well, do it. Do it. You ain't did it yet. Don't talk about what you can do, my nigga. Do it. The fuck? You said that like she just, you can you gonna upgrade when she come out of my stomach or something. The motherfucker been here for almost three years and you ain't did it yet. She ain't seen her own room yet. But you got the money to do it. Bitch, you ain't gonna do shit. You're not gonna do anything. You don't think of your child. This the same nigga that when she had surgery, she just had surgery. This nigga went out. He went out. Really with a bitch, but that's neither here or there. But you went out while your daughter had was recovering from surgery and she was up in pain. She was up in pain and left me to deal with it. Which I'm not complaining about it, but it's like you didn't even check to see if she was okay. You didn't try to either, hey, I'm going to stay tonight. I mean, not even I'm going to stay tonight. Kinsley can come over here with me because I just want to make sure she good for her surgery. At least this one little night or whatever the case may be. Check in on her. Nothing. Kinsley got sick from her surgery and everything. You wouldn't know because you wasn't there. I had to text you. I have the screenshot. I have the screenshot of me literally telling you. Telling you. That I felt like it was so wrong of you. So wrong of you to not be there while she had her fucking surgery. And actually you should have came to see her before you laid down and went to sleep or took a nap. Especially if you wasn't going to go to the club. You went bowling and shit while I'm up stuck with your child at 5 a.m. She's up in pain crying and throwing up because it's her first night of recovery. Those be the little things that I be talking about. You could have took a little more consideration and came over if all you were going to do was be lounging around. Or Kinsley could have came over to you. She just got out of surgery going bowling and, and it's not important and it could have waited. Things like that made me feel like I'm taking all this weight and you just think in there watching you don't gotta deal with long nights of really taking care of kinsley i do so the least you could have done was made an initiative to figure out how you could have been with your child at night i don't care to be around you either i don't care to stay the nights with you either but if that's what i have to do right now for you to be a parent as equal as i am then i am fine with that you didn't even try to invite us over so you can help with the aftermath of her surgery or nothing come again why do i have to why do i have to do all that why does it take all that? The fuck? The fuck? So you out here, you just admitted that I am a full-time fucking parent. You know what type of nights I have with Kinsley. Tossing and turning, she's still on the fucking bottle. She's almost three. You know that she can't talk. You know that she is autistic. You know that I don't have, the, 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 I, not that I don't have. I didn't have the funds to really take care of her. You knew I didn't have a car at the time to really do nothing. But yeah, you choose to harp and argue with me instead of helping your child out. You make me suffer and your child ends up suffering. And you don't realize that because you're too fucking childish. You're not a fucking man. You're a little ass boy. You really should be embarrassed. At the end of the day, this shit lame as fuck. And... I'm over it. I really am over it. I thought it was over. Like, nigga's whole world falling apart when he gets served child support papers. Nigga acting like it's World War III. But I didn't. I couldn't act like it was World War III when you was out here driving around my car till the wheel falls off. And now it's fucking, now it's fucking, uh, now it's fucking broken. Oh, oh, one more thing. Let's talk about how you talking about how you trying to put me in your apartment. You trying to put me in your apartment. Bitch, I passed that up and I let your mama have that apartment. I let your mama have that apartment. I said, I'm good. At least I got a roof over my head. She didn't even have a, a stable roof over her head, so I let your mama have that apartment. You're the same nigga that gave me $1,000 to move in to my own apartment for me and Kinsley and then spent all your money that month and went broke and at the end of the month asked me for that shit back. You asked me for that shit back and me and you made a promise that if even if we got into it, you were still going to give it to me. And guess what? We got into it, which I knew we would after me giving you the money back and you didn't give me shit. Not to say that you have to because you don't got to do a bitch ass thing, but it's the fact that you did it and you took it back. But you out here acting like you just really just out here got that money on like that and I'm just draining you and draining you and draining you. No, bitch, you're draining me because I don't see how the fact that you can you can go through 15K, 20K and still be turning around and asking my broke bum ass, my broke lazy bum ass for some motherfucking money. I'm 
don't know. I don't know why y'all in my DMs talking about uh, you ain't got nothing better to do but to sell an ebook. You ain't got nothing better to do but to do wig videos, do hair companies, da da da. That shit's getting me paid. Once again, he asked for that hair company money before. It was once paying bills, still is. You mad because you can't do it like me. Don't come in my DMs talking about what I do. Yeah, I do what I do and I do it proudly. Can't any of y'all tell me about shit that I do? Clock that. I don't know. It's just getting real ghetto out here. Like, it's getting ghetto. It's getting fucking ghetto. It's getting ghetto. I have a headache. I keep getting headaches. It's just like it's never. It's a never-ending cycle with Jordan. He's a fucking gaslighter, and he, he's so fucking manipulative. It don't make no fucking sense. It'll make you question like, what the fuck is going on? Am I in a fucking movie? Am I fucking dreaming? Because this nigga is fucking crazy. The fuck. The difference between me and him is that I don't have to cope with my pain by popping pills and buying weed and drinking drinks and going to the club and popping bottles and fucking on hoes. I don't gotta numb my pain for that. I stand in my shit all ten toes, all ten toes never fold, my nigga. And I deal with everything that comes to me full fucking circle, my nigga. Everybody around me, I'm friends and family. I see her. You just so strong, cause I don't know how you do it, bro. You so strong. You so strong. You so strong. You so strong. So strong, cause I do this shit for real. I do this shit for real. I don't know what he thought getting on the internet was gonna do with what which I was gonna say. Like I like I was supposed to give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. None of you hoes, none of y'all make my world go round. Y'all make that nigga world go round. He looks to y'all for opinions and validation. Me, I don't give a fuck. I don't care. I don't make my world go round. Let's be for real. Let's please be for real. Please be for real. Please be for real. Never held Kinsley. Never told him he couldn't get a. Never nothing. Never is not trying to drain you. You have nothing for me to fucking drain. It's always gone. The fuck? I'm trying to drain you, but you the same nigga that offered to... You tried to make it uh, make up for you not being there for Kinsley's surgery. You tried to get my nails and my toes done. That's the type of nigga you are. Child, please. Child, please. For real. Okay, so at the end of the day, there's that. that that's that. I have a fucking headache. I'm not spending no more time talking about this shit. He's not going to get my energy anymore. I'm done responding to all this childish ass, petty ass shit. Like, I'm done responding to all this. This will be my last video that y'all will ever see me talking about this man. Like, I promise you that. I promise you that because I never gave a fuck to. But what y'all fucked up as when y'all came in my comments or in my DMs or on my motherfucking social media thinking you know what you're doing and what you're talking about. No, you don't. You don't. You don't. At the end of the day, I'm the same person who was praying that nothing ever happened to Jordan, whether we was on good terms or bad terms, for the sake of my motherfucking kid. But I'm so bitter. You out here probably in the bed with another bitch and I'm praying that you're for your safety. But I'm so bitter. How? How does that make sense? I don't care about that stuff. I don't think about that stuff when I'm praying for his safety. I do it because I genuinely mean the shit. What part of that y'all understanding? How can I be so bitter? Hmm. Shit, y'all letting me know shit about myself that I ain't even know because I didn't know. I didn't know that that's what the fuck I was. Yeah, let me know. Because I didn't know. Couldn't have been me. Bitter. <sighs> I literally keep harping on that because it's just like bitter. Bitter. How many times I could have pulled up to whoop your ass on shit? You don't get my energy like that no more, Jordan. So, no, I'm the what are you talking about? Bitter. You calling me at 3 o'clock in the morning trying to see what I'm doing. Because you see me out looking good. I have that screenshot too. You call me at 3 o'clock in the morning like we just cool like that. Like you ain't talking to whoever you talking to. And I ignored that shit. I watched that shit ring, my nigga. Nobody worried about you. Nobody's worried about you. Please fly high. Sit off. Spread your wings and fly. 
Please, please. That's all I want. That's all I fucking want. After this, I don't give a fuck what he put up. I don't give a fuck what he record. I don't give a fuck what he say. I'm not making no more videos about this shit. It's over with. Like I'm not I don't I don't care. I really don't care. I don't care for y'all's opinion. I don't care for y'all to have my back. I don't care for y'all to not have my back. I don't care for any of that. I just want to say what was really up and what's really the truth. And like clear the fact that I'm just not out here just being no grimy ass baby mama as he would call it and just up and putting people on child support if they're doing what they're supposed to be doing cause how how yes I put somebody on child support who when he gets mad at me he don't even get sending my daughter $20 for milk hello hello you're going on child support I already told you this, this is what I'm gonna do if you did it again you did it again it's a wrap the fuck anyways i'm really gonna end this video for real i really just pray for jordan and pray that he gets the mental health that he needs to be okay with himself to even be a father because that's one thing that y'all not realizing is he's mentally over there going through it nigga can't sleep at night because he got so much on his motherfucking brain despise what we got going on he needs help and I'll up here on, on here up his fucking ass. He needs help. And I'm not just saying like he just mentally, mentally fucking unstable. But no, you need therapy, my nigga. You got shit going on. And what? But I, I'm not gonna be no verbal punching bag to you though. I'm not gonna be the one you go off on about about it too. No, cause that's what Jordan likes to do. He likes to deal with things in his life, and then when I come around, he likes to take those things out on me. I'm done with that shit. Y'all crazy. So yeah, pray for your boy. I didn't already pray for him. I always pray for him. But I'm bitter. What? Pray for your boy and I pray for y'all as well. That y'all stop, y'all stop doing what y'all doing for real. Like riding people coattails is crazy. Like I wouldn't even want y'all going back on his social media riding for me because I don't, I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. I like, do y'all not understand that? I don't care for y'all to go back to his social media and bash him. I don't care for y'all to go prove points and have my back and just go a okay for Sierra. And I don't give a fuck about that. I don't give a fuck about that. I don't need y'all's validation. So yeah, pray for him and I'm gonna pray for him and I'm gonna pray for y'all. Cause y'all got a whole lot of weird, weird shit going on and I don't wanna be a part of it. I've been trying not to be a part of it. I've been X myself out of it, but somehow, some way, I keep getting dra back, dragged back to it. All I ever wanted was for me and Jordan to be good co-parents. Co -parents. Like, what are you talking about? It's not my fault that you keep fucking up. How, that's not my fault. But I'm going to treat your ass every single fucking time. How many slip ups you expect me to give a grown man? You a quarter away from 30. Get your shit together. Your daughter's about to be three. Get your shit together. With that being said, I'm done with this video. Shit, y'all can kiss my ass. Bruh, did y'all hear all of that? Did y'all hear all of that? Okay, I told y'all in my other video, it takes two... I mean, it's two sides to every story. Now, leave a comment below. Let's see who really telling the truth. Let's who, who's telling the truth. <laughs> excuse me. Excuse me. She got receipts and all, y'all. Okay. I knew some of the stuff was... Uh, I just knew I'm a mother. I get her. I get her. I understand him too, but I get her. I don't know, but I get her. I'm not taking sides. I told y'all from the right and right only. Um, for who makes sense and what don't make sense. I'm letting y'all know now. Y'all, I'm going to leave it right here. That's all I'm going to say. I'm going to leave it right here. I want to say I, I pray for both of y'all. I pray that everything goes smoothly for the baby, sake of the baby. I hope everything gets back on track mentally and spiritually for you guys. Y'all, beauty babies, there y'all go. This video already so long, so I don't want to get too much into it. I just want to try to hear her what she had to say.
Y'all go follow her. Her name is Sierra Nicole. And give her some likes too. Comment on her stuff too as well as mine. Don't forget to like, comment, and share. And subscribe. Some beauty, such a lady. I love you guys. I love you, I love you, I love you. I thank God for you guys. I cannot leave what I'm saying. Keep God first. Stay blessed. And I am out. Bye, guys.